Hello and welcome, I'm Mark Fraser from the Nature Walks with Markstrom, and we're exploring very remote wilderness areas, learning about the fascinating wildlife and fauna that lives there, and I'm inviting you on the exploration. When it gets right down to it, it's all about habitat, and when it comes to the fascinating sundew plant, this is as good as it gets. In fact, in some areas, we see multiple meat-eating plants, like that pitcher plant right beside the amazing sundew. Sundew is named after the morning dew that it looks like when closely observing the leaves. Let's take a look. All right, I just pulled off my kayak. I've got to be very careful on this floating grass. But right in here, you can see this is another carnivorous plant. This is all called sundew. See that right there? And what there is, you can get that. It's got little tiny hairs all over the tip of each of these plants. And if you zoom into it, it's there's little beads of what looks like honey. And an insect will land on this and be trapped. It's almost like a Venus flytrap kind of thing, but it just uses these sticky beads of honey to capture its food source. In a bog environment like this, in a northern boreal forest, the soil is very poor. And what happens is to substitute the nutrients they don't get from the soil, they actually have evolved to take it from insects. So carnivorous plant species like pitcher plant and like these sundew have evolved to get all their nutrients they can by hunting, by actually eating meat. So that's a carnivorous plant called a sundew. Fantastic. Incredible when you think about it. Picture being a fly living in a northern bog. You just don't want to land. You see, if you so much as touch one of these little tiny beads and you happen to be a little fly, you are in big trouble. The leaves will end up curling around you while the plant ingests you. Here's some food for thought. A biting insect could get its meal from you, your nutrients go to it, and then it's captured by a sundew, giving its nutrients into that plant. Amazing when you think about that. Nature really is fascinating when you take the time to explore it and appreciate it. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you soon.